Uh, I would like to know, like, what in our condition defines the condition of our spirit guide, really? I mean, what def if, is there something that really in our condition that defines, like, if it's celestial or not a celestial, second, third, fourth, fifth sphere? And there are certain factors that, that define why certain guides are assigned to us, mm. but they're more to do with our personality and nature than they mm. are to do okay. uh, the, as well as our desires. Mm. So, for example, if we had a desire to discover God, then there's, a, then there's a high likelihood we'll be assigned at some point in our life a divine love guide who would assist us through that process. Does that make sense? Um, the reason why it's pointing at me now is because I'm the one talking. <laughs> I'm pretty far away from you. <laughs> no, it still, it still gets me. Um, so, so what happens is that uh, our spirit friends, um, they, they are assigned to us both based on our desires, but there's also this other aspect, and this other aspect is to do with our personality characteristics mm -hmm. and attributes and nature. So every single person on the planet and every single person in the spirit world is um, has a different personality or nature, and but there are some people who are very similar to you in nature, mm. who are, who who uh, would find your nature far more enjoyable to be with than other people would find it. Does that make sense? And in other words, they generally have similar desires. They have a similar type of personality. So some people are more retrospective or more um, introspective than others. Mm -hmm. Some people are more outgoing and extrovert mm. than others. And um, so the spirit guide who's assigned to you, if the, if the true personal nature was one of being an extrovert, mm. then it's highly unlikely an introvert spirit would be assigned mm -hmm. to you. Does that make sense? There are people who delight in the same things that you do. Oh, yeah. 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 Even, if, even if perhaps uh, at the time you're very injured and you're not finding delight in the areas that your true nature would guide you to, yeah. the person who guides you has delight in those things that you, your true nature and personality is going to like knowing already what my true nature would lead me to at some stage, and exactly. then really and helping me to discover that really. Role. And that's part of their role, right? Yeah. How, yeah. They, okay. Part of their role is helping you discover mm -hmm. you. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good system. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's a good system. Because a lot of times on Earth we are very detuned from us because of what's happened to us in our environment. We're often very detuned from what we really want to do ourselves or detuned from our desires and passions. And so having a, having a spirit who's with you is awesome because they, they can help you discover those things even if your family or your environment has shut them down inside mm -hmm. of you. Mm -hmm. And this is why a lot of times as we grow into our teenage life, we start sort of going out in different directions that our family is very confronted with. Mm. And often it's our guide that's influencing us to do this because he, he or she knows, no, your true nature is this direction, not the family's direction, but in this direction. And oftentimes your personality or nature will challenge your family as a result of you fully expressing your own personality and nature. And your guide knows that. So your guide's like there like a friend you can say, no worries, your family might be against you for the moment, but I'm still with you. <laughs> I'm still with you. I'm still helping you out. Right? I'm still, uh, you know, you've got, me, you've got me along. I understand what's going on and it's pretty bad what's happening with your family. They might be attacking you and so forth and so forth, but, but you don't need to worry too much about that because you've still got a friend. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And you have. Yeah. Yeah.